Knock knock. Who's there? Your friend. But I don't have any friends. That's a poem by Dr. Steve Brule. What's going on everybody? So I'm back today to do another review as I normally do amidst my chaotic last semester of film school. I've been trying to fit in as many movies as I possibly can. I'm also reading a lot of books. Highly recommend if you are into reading and you're a fan of the horror genre, check out Christopher Triana and Grady Hendrix. They both write some really fucking incredible books that if you're in love with horror, I would just go check, read everything they've ever written. I read all of Grady Hendrix's books and I'm like halfway through Christopher uh, Triana's catalog. So if you're into horror, check it out. So as I normally do, I scrolled through Shudder when they uploaded some new films and I decided to watch one solely based on the poster. And the film that I'm going to be talking about today is Knocking. Knocking is directed by Frida Kempf and stars Cecilia Milaco as Molly, a woman who leaves a psychiatric ward after a nervous breakdown only to start hearing mysterious knocking sounds in her apartment. So this movie started off really promising. I hadn't even seen a trailer for this yet. So I just dive into it. That's one of the cool parts about Shudder. There's a lot of times I just dive in and watch films without having any pre-existing knowledge of the content. And the first thing that really struck me was the cinematography. The movie is shot beautifully. You can tell that there was a lot of time and effort put into the composition of the framing. And we're introduced to this character who is in this institution and we're getting these little flashback sequences into their lives. They're on the beach with their girlfriend or their wife. And she then it jumps us into in this institution. They're letting her out because they said she's been doing really well. And so she goes to this apartment and she starts hearing this mysterious knocking noise and it essentially starts driving her nuts to where she constantly thinks something is going on. Other people around her aren't addressing the situation. They think that she's just crazy. And the movie kind of just goes on from there. So this is an interesting premise. I love psychological horror films. I'm a huge fan of anything surrealist. I love any sort of like horror think pieces. And this movie, unfortunately, did not work for me. I'm a little upset by it because I thought that, like I said, the cinematography was beautiful. And our lead actress who played Molly was fantastic. She was really committed to the performance and to the material. But this movie has a brisk hour and 17 minute runtime and it feels long and i mean it this week i've watched a ton of movies in preparation for a video i'm about to do where i rank all the texas chainsaw massacre films so this i watched before that so i'm trying to piece it all together but it's it's a relatively forgettable film and that's upsetting because the visual style is beautiful but most of the movie is that she hears a noise, a knocking sound above her. She goes upstairs to check the apartment above her, asks questions. The people in the apartment are really off-put. She hears other noises. She thinks people are being attacked. She thinks certain things are going on. She tries to go to the police. The police don't seem to believe what's going on. And then these little flashbacks are introduced to you to give you insight sort of into whatever the trauma that her partner has experienced. And what's unfortunate about it is I, I'm a big fan, like I said, of surrealist films. But the problem that I have with this is there isn't even enough context really to get a full understanding of what has happened other than some sort of traumatic event. That's all, that's all we're aware of. And I feel like this is a movie that could have benefited a little bit more from diving into that trauma a little more. Because the film is so reliant on this idea of creating spooky atmosphere where you hear knocking noises and our character is shocked and upset by it, you need a little bit more depth there to keep me interested. And that's where I think this movie falls short because even... As far as the sound design is concerned with this film, it's not really all that impressive. And for a film that's all about our lead character being sort of off-put and struggling with this idea of hearing these noises and thinking that there's something larger at play, you really would focus heavily on the sound design. But it's, it's nothing super impressive. And I think that's what disappointed me the most was that with how beautiful this is shot, and I mean it is beautiful. The visuals in this movie are incredible to look at, especially what I was really impressed with with the visual style, is a lot of this film is shot in one location in this apartment. You have these flashbacks to the beach, you have when she leaves the apartment to go to these different apartments or she's outside. Everything, there's a, real, there's a lot 
of intricate details put into the framing of each shot and the cinematography. And it's unfortunate when you have a film that is shot so beautifully and presented in a very specific way and it just falls flat on its face. And, and that's the most unfortunate part about this film is that for such a strong and interesting premise, it's really poorly executed, which sucks because I think the lead actress is really talented. Everyone in the film gave a really good performance. It's just relatively bland and forgettable, which I hope that if this filmmaker makes something else, I will definitely watch it because I think that the visual style alone is worth the runtime, but it's definitely not one I could go around recommending to people just because for such a brief film, it is relatively bloated. So that's my thoughts on Knocking. I don't have a lot to say about it because it was so forgettable. It is on Shutter right now if you're looking for a... Uh, a film with really pretty cinematography but not much else going for it then I'd say it's for you but otherwise I would skip over this one it's definitely not worth your time so have you seen Knocking yet did you love it did you hate it leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought I thought this movie was bloated and not well executed with beautiful cinematography as always if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel it helps me out a lot it lets me know the type of content you're looking for I recently uh, got uh, 1.5 thousand views on my worst person in the world video which was really exciting to me I've been posting content regularly since the month of October last year and it's been really great to see so many people engage in the channel leave comments f constantly seeing similar people talking on my videos it just means a lot to me that you all take time out of your day to listen to my opinion because I love movies and I have fun talking about them and I think my opinion isn't the only one that's valid. You have a valid opinion and I like hearing what you have to say because a lot of times I'll get uh, some opinions on films and I'll go back and watch it and it helps change my perspective and I think that's the coolest part about movies as a whole. And as always everybody, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.